hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video we will be going over oop. Oop. I did not mean to do that Fuck. anyway hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video we will be going over Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over the new um, hero guide. Also, King of Avalon is having their birthday on July 14th. They will be four years old. We haven't played this game for four years. If you've been playing this game for two years, no, I've been playing this game for two years. I've been playing it for four years. But if you're an OD or you're an OG, you've been playing this game for four years. Just let that sink in. How much money you spent four years just on this game. But um, what we really want to talk about today is the new hero system guide. Basically what King of Avalon did was made the upgrading heroes more convenient. So as before, if you're a free to play if you're a free to play player, sometimes the only way you will get frags is if you sat and did events, um, collected gold summoning horns and collected silver horns from doing bars, from hitting monsters, yada, yada, yada. Now, what King of Avalon did is made it more convenient for free-to-play players because you can easily just have a level one Uther, right? Have um, such and such large XP, medium XP, or small XP. Up him to level 60, you have all these skills unlocked. If you have the hero XP, you have all these new stats. That's really good for free-to-play players because they don't really spend money on the game. Hence, by their name, free-to-play players. So, they have a chance now to have heroes that we have as spenders, but just half, basically. So, when you um, are level 60, what you get as a free-to-play player is 152.71% troop attack added to your stats. And then you have a 3.82% chance of killing a uh, opposite troop in a enemy's garrison or their base. So to my spenders, to my mid spenders, to my light spenders, what I advise you guys to do cuz um these skills at the bottom cost fragments. So if you are really trying to focus on upping Uther and King A, I would advise you guys to basically um just save your fragments Keep the heroes that you already have appointed, or if you already have Uther and King A appointed, then just leave them as they are, because you guys know, and everybody else knows, that sometimes these fragments are a little bit irritating, because some of you guys don't even have your purple, blue, and green ones maxed yet. So basically, you guys are spending money on packages, like the gold, the horn packages, you get the 5, the 10, the... 50 and 100 dollar packs and you're basically getting when you're summoning you're basically getting green and purple and you're not getting uther you're not getting king a you're not getting oberon you're not getting boars or king arthur you're getting the shit you're getting the trash ones basically you're getting um yukimura you're getting han you're getting iju you're getting lady like what no what you guys need to do for my spenders you guys can take this advice if you want or not. Just focus on using your fragments to upgrade your Uther or your any type of hero to level 6 so you can get the max benefits from that certain hero. So like you can see right here, I'm getting max benefits from Moron, 6%, Red Knight, 90%. Um, so yeah, I pretty much copied, I pretty much touched that topic. So it's two different sections, basically, right guys? You have a star level section and you have a skill level section. Skill level section is basically um, 25 fragments each skill, I believe. I don't want to, don't quote me on that. I think, right? And then you have a star level where you need fragments to upgrade your um, hero star and then a unique skill as well. So as you upgrade each skill, I believe that max section will go up as you upgrade. So the max level, of course, will give you the full benefits of the heroes. But I like how King of Avalon did it because, yeah, I'll keep calling them King of Avalon. I don't even know their group name. But I like how they did it because they made it to where free-to-play players now have the chance to have heroes like us 
and still get half the benefits, which is really fine, really great, because when you look at it, they can have a, um, let me go to the little hero table. They can have, they can appoint a hero like Uther. Say they have Sir Beldwin or they have King Arthur. They can have Uther and look at the stats difference between King Arthur and Uther. They're actually getting a bigger bonus compared to what they have already. So I feel like um, King Valon should get a nice pat on the back and a golden star for thinking about their free-to-play players. Um, but us spenders, we didn't really get much except these lovely, when I say lovely, these lovely new heroes. Now, back in the day, or back a couple of videos ago, right? Um, I said something about um, new new archer commanders that probably can be anti-crit or probably... Get out Um, there's no test proven yet, but the new heroes that we have for Nether Season 2 is Dendrea, Dendrea, and Brutus. Now, we're going to go over Brutus first because I like Brutus. Brutus is basically a um, cow, uh, archer commander, right? His unique skill is Undying Glory. Um, Bowmen led by Brutus have a 20% chance to receive Undying Glory, increasing their attack when attacking by 8,000%, and striking infantry first. The Undying Glory buff will only last for one attack and cannot be stacked. So basically, when you're launching that Mega, and you have an OP combination, and you're hitting infantry first, if your infantry goes first, that's it. You're basically you're basically dead. Like once the infantry is gone, the rest of your troops is gonna get snapped away. So if this hero really is like OP, or that twenty percent chance goes off, oh my god, the battle reports. Some of the people are probably gonna quit, but that's only if people have the hero maxed or not. The new system is basically you will have to max this hero. In order for you to get that 8,000%. Now, you'll probably get half if you two-star or you one-star. But that's going to cost you a couple, a nice penny. That's going to cost you a couple dollars. Because right now, when new heroes come out, it costs you thousands and thousands and thousands to max. As to where if you wait, or you just basically two-star or one-star if you can, then it'll get cheaper later later on in the updates. Like the Nether Fall season the nether fall the nether war seasons one heroes they're basically they got kicked out of the legendary horn summoning thing as you can see right here they're not up here no more so basically um i don't know where what they're going to do about that but probably they're probably going to get put in an update where they're going to be put in the gold summoning horns or they'll probably be in events i don't know if they're still in the legendary one i haven't checked and asked but um Anyway, let's get to the second hero. Um, the second hero is hold on, let me go back to this actually. As you can see, the skills is the like the stats are getting buffed and buffed. So don't be surprised in a couple months when you see the top players with 10k stats and 5k top three. I honestly I don't know if King of Avalon is gonna put a cap on the stats to make the way to make it like easier for people but i don't know i just feel like they're just gonna keep going up by percent 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 and who knows what's gonna happen in the future but the um it's a nice pretty it's a big a big jump from the nether fall the nether war season one heroes now if you get this guy's max then your stats is gonna get boosted really big your base stats is basically but not your um top three the next hero is dendrea her special skill is Devotion. Bowman in a march with or a garrison in a city with Dendrea will be bestowed with her Devotion. Um, granting Bowman an extra strike of light, dealing 2.5k percent of their base damage and reducing their target's defense by 1.1050% within three attacks. The defense reduction buff cannot be stacked. So um, this hero is kind of confusing 
Um, I guess they attacked twice. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but we're gonna get we're gonna get into detail in the heroes and probably in a different video as we learn more about them. But these are the two new heroes and their their base stats is basically the same. It's a big jump from them, or from the Nether War season one heroes to the Nether War season two heroes. Um but basically to summarize the um the new system guide, you're basically um Shit, 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 shit. You're basically upping your star level with fragments and you're upping your skill level with fragments. So just be careful when you're upping your skill level because that's actually taking 25 fragments away from your star level. Um, if you aren't a big spender or you're not a, like a, you don't spend money on the game, then of course use your fragments to up your skills and make your stats look better. That's your choice personally. I don't mean I'm not telling you to do it, but if you want to do it, then that's great because your stats will look, look pretty. Much, it'll probably look better than what it's looking like now, compared to the old heroes you have appointed. Um, basically, I want to say for the Nether Nether Wars heroes, guys, unless you can max those out, don't really waste your frags because they are hard to get, and it would be a it would suck if you guys get like half of what you really spent for it. Um, but other than that, also, I don't think that you um your lord the little power buff you got earlier today when you log on the game that was from your heroes. So basically, now your heroes give you power, or before they didn't give you power, but they calculated all the heroes and added it up and sent it to your power. So I got like 19 mil power today just from my heroes. Um, I think as soon as you max all your heroes, you'll get like a little pre pretty decent um, plus in your total power. I mean, I don't know if that's fine or not, but I guess it's okay. Also, um, when you have when you have max, say you have maxed every single hero, and you just have frags sitting around, you can dismantle all of them, like I'm doing here. You can dismantle them, and then basically it's a hero soul shop. So you have um, small hero XP, medium hero XP, large, small skill, scroll, medium, large, advanced, superhero scroll. And then these heroes are the ones listed below. is King Arthur, Red Knight, Oberon, Boris, Moraine, and Igrain, something like that. That is basically uh, what you can use your hero soul shop fragments on. Um, I believe once they really sit and let it sit for a while, they'll probably update the soul shop every update regarding heroes and stuff. So if you don't have these heroes maxed, now you have a chance to max these heroes. Um, it just depends on how many fragments you have sitting around. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys got a little bit of knowledge in this video. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, share my video so other people can see it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you later. Fuck, bitch. Fuck. Fuck. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's